See, I'm trying to do something positive and say something positive without having a ruckus rant. Let me just get straight to the point. For the past few months now, I've been asking people to help with the Sickle Cell Organization and the Sickle Cell Walk. And it's a cause that's near and dear to me because, yes, I suffer from sickle cell anemia. So, of course, I have a little personal association with it because, you know, I suffer with the disease. So, to make an entirely long story short, everyone knows during sickle cell month I go hard. I go hard. We're trying to find some research. We're trying to find a cure. We're trying to put money into this disease that really doesn't have national attention like it should. I've been posting on Facebook, I've been posting on Instagram, I've been posting, 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 and calling and emailing and what have you. However, no one is supported. But if someone throws a charity event and famous people come in the name of Sickle Cell, that's your behind will be there. To floss and to look cute and to take pictures and to participate. But when I, the individual that has it, or the people that have it, you are nowhere to be found. There are no hospital visits. There are no, there's no, you're not coming to walks. You're not supporting. You're not helping advocate. But best believe when it's time to floss, you'll be there for a row. Being glamorous and taking fabulous pictures. Now, okay, okay, I have a point. I apologize. I'm going to wrap it up into a nice little boat for you. As a former pageant queen and now a director, I'm noticing that there's a trend in pageantry. There's women who concentrate solely on their platform, solely on their legacy and their title. And... Other events that they go to is just for a photograph, just to be seen, and just to network. And there's no care or consideration for the reason why the event was held in the first place. Um, and business owners do the same exact thing. There's no consideration um, into the why for the event or for the charitable cause. And I'm sick of it. People should have the best of intentions when they're doing something um, for, like, for charity, especially. Because, yeah, there's a, you know, there's a walk. And yes, there's a photo op. But when you leave after that photo op, think about the person that you just, Think about the person that is suffering. So it's kind of like how Donald Trump went to help the flood victims in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. What? Like, dude, like, we know what that was for. No, he doesn't give a rat's behind about you. So it's just an opportunity to look good, to big him up. And that's how I've been feeling for the past a long time. Come, you take pictures. You know, when I was a kid, uh, big Boston fan, as you can see. Had parties with the Boston Celtics every year. Loved it. But when the Boston Celtics left from our Christmas parties, they gave us our toys, and it was so long farewell. They didn't come see about us when we were in the hospital. There's like, it was just a photo op. Everybody and their mom was there when it was time for the Celtics to give out toys. But nobody was there for us. So, I'm not trying to convict anyone to help. I'm not trying to give you a guilt trip. I'm really not. 
I just want everyone to think about what they're doing before they do it. Think about the cause and the why of why we work so hard to get funding and to get help. And that's, that's really it. Um, so thank you so much for listening to me. And in, I look forward to talking to you again on another Wellness Wednesday. I'm in my feelings about that. I don't like that. And I'm trying to find the words without sounding bitter, without sounding angry, which I am. I'm trying to articulate the best way to say it. I'm going to just say, look, stop fronting. And if you're not going to help people that are ha are having issues, if you're not going to help the flood victims, if you're not going to help, just say it. Stop trumping around and just say it. When it's time to floss, don't be there. Do not go. Because I will be the first person to clown you. Okay, I'm going to edit that.